in the first place to have information uh, being verified uh, by public authorities so they don't have to verify themselves. Uh, what uh, the information they, they get from uh, from public authorities are contained in official documents. So it can also it also applies to we, we don't have information that is also written in in official document. So it's a kind of uh, uh, proof uh, and something as that they could uh, use in the event uh, some somebody is uh, trying to, um, to to start proceedings against the journalist or in, in mildly put it like even disputing uh, the, the writing or the reporting of, of journalists. So, so th in, in that sense, it's, it's a valuable in instrument for their work. Uh, and when it comes to the value and how journalists are using free access to information in Serbia, for example, uh, many, uh, almost every investigative uh, journalism in Serbia would uh, imply that uh, they were using free access to information law. Sometimes they would be also using uh, services of the information commissioner. That would unfortunately mean that they didn't get information in the first place, so they had to file a complaint to the commissioner. And in most of the cases, if I, if I uh, remember correctly, they would, uh, they would be provided uh, with the information. Uh, for example, the journalist uh, that is um, uh, from Serbia that is uh, recognized as uh, one of the leading investigative uh, journalists in, in the world or at least in the, in the region and is often uh, being awarded uh, for annual, report, uh, annual reports throughout, uh, throughout the world. Brankica Stankovic is really known on abusing extensively uh, free access to information law. There is no show uh, of insider which is, uh, which is her which is her uh, show or reporting investigative journalism. It's a very sensitive issue that uh, they don't say that uh, they got the uh, document using the right to free access to information.